So, today I'm going to teach you guys a bit about chemistry. Well, like I said, um, first of all, the smallest things that you'll see in chemistry or learn about is atoms. So what are atoms? Atoms are small molecules that have a small nucleus in them, which contain protons and neutrons, which make up the mass of the, of the atom. Then you have electrons that float around that nucleus, which is kind of similar to a solar system when you think about it, where the sun is what we consider the nucleus. It contains the majority of the mass of the solar system. And then you have the planets that go around it, which are like your electrons. And then when you bring those two electrons and atoms together, you can make bigger things, known as molecules. So an example of a molecule is water, which is H2O, as we all know, which contains an oxygen and two hydrogen atoms. So when you have two hydrogen atoms coming together with oxygen, the hydrogens and oxygen form a covalent bond. Now a covalent bond is a bond where electrons are shared, which means that the oxygen gets some of the, some of the electrons, while hydrogen gets a fairly similar amount of pull on the electron. So it thinks that it has a full valence shell. Valence shell is known as the outermost shell or outermost orbital of an atom. Now, I've told you what a covalent bond is. The other kind of bond that you can have is an ionic bond, similar to table salt, which is known as sodium chloride. Sodium chloride contains a sodium atom and a chloride ion. And when they come together, the chloride gains an electron from the sodium and it pulls the electron right from the sodium and makes the sodium have a positive charge, which makes it a, what we call a cation. And the chlorine gets a negative charge, which is what we call an anion. And so when you have these, you can find out different properties of how one will dissolve in the other. Sodium chloride will dissolve in water, whereas if you have something like oil, it won't dissolve in water because it's so long of a molecule that water just can't break it up. And plus that also changes densities as well. Oh. Subscribe to me and you will see a new video weekly. Please subscribe. Please. Just, just maybe.